in episode one of our Minecraft Earth road trip. Um, there's no anti-locking brakes, no power steering. There's no seatbelt. <laughs> Where have you gone? And now, Stonehenge. Stonehenge is an ancient monolithic structure that has existed in England for thousands upon thousands of years. It's considered one of the seven wonders of the world, and I can totally understand why. It is very impressive if you go and see it. But we're about to do something arguably more impressive, and that is take the design of Stonehenge and reconstruct it in Minecraft Earth. I mean, sure, you know, the druids back in the day, they transported those rocks for many miles to get them to where Stonehenge is. It does sound pretty tricky, but we clicked on a lot of tappables to get these resources to build Stonehenge. You know, that's tough as well. Arguably tougher. They don't appear that often yet. It takes a lot of stones to make Stonehenge. I don't even know that. I'm just gonna stop Mumbo before he angers the druids any further. After a lot of block collecting and a lot of block placing, our Stonehenge is now completed and now it's time to chuck it in the middle of a football pitch and see how it stacks up against the original. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> this actually is actually... What's this? Is... this? Punch mode? No, don't. No, 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 no. That's like illegal. You can't punch Stonehenge. You'll be kicked out of England, mate. I don't know what... Oh, yeah, you can punch stuff. I can't... Look, there's... Look, you've already vandalised it. <laughs> there's a big crack in that gravel right there. So is this... So have you actually based this on an image? Yeah, I've tried to copy it as much as possible. But obviously, I kind of ran out of grey blocks, so there's just a bit of concrete here and there. Anything grey made it, because turns out you need a lot of stone <laughs> to build Stonehenge. You're currently like in inside a piece of Stonehenge. It is actually massive. That really puts into perspective how impressive Stonehenge is. This is ridiculous. Ta-da! I made Stonehenge in less than an hour. <laughs> what yeah, those old took, guys thinking? Took them thousands of years. I just love the idea of Stonehenge being in the middle of a football pitch. Like that's the most. This is the most English thing we possibly could have created. <laughs> so do I, do I? Did I pass the test? Yeah, I must admit you've actually done a really good job here. It's quite frustrating. I was really looking forward to blasting it and saying that they did a better job like four and a half thousand years ago. Do you know what's actually weird? I've been looking at this through the iPad. It's actually weird that there's nothing there. I know it is actually really strange. I don't know how Greer managed to pull this off, but for the second time in this road trip, we got permission to sleep on someone's lawn. So we parked up the bus underneath a tree, it was all looking rather beautiful, got the tent set up, and then started thinking of ideas of things that we could do. Because not only did we have access to this person's front lawn, we also had access to their rather large back lawn. And with the success of Minecraft Earth Badminton in the forefront of our minds, we started thinking of other games that we could play. I can't even see you. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> this is. I don't, well, I don't... <laughs> you actually caught okay. it. Okay, okay. Whoa. Okay, that's weird. Ready? It is actually really surreal. Uh, this is really difficult. I can't. Let it go. I, don't, I didn't even reach the hoop on my end. <laughs> it was about this time that we realised that throwing a frisbee to one another is difficult enough just on its own. But when you add gigantic virtual hoops into the mix that you can only see through a screen, that you have to look through a screen to throw the frisbee through, things got exponentially more difficult. Now, I don't know about you, but that was straight through, wasn't it? Ending on a high with the sun dropping beneath the horizon, it was time to pack things up and hit the hay as we had a very busy schedule planned for the following day. So Green, where are we actually heading off to now? We're going to a farm. Like a sugar, massive sugarcane farm? <laughs> we can, no, like, we a, like, a like a real, like a real farm. And okay. there's not really like a proper link between where we're going and then Minecraft Earth. There's a little one. We're Okay. We're gonna go and see some alpacas. So, so when you say see some alpacas, like is that? Are we looking at them from afar? Is this like another Stonehenge situation where? No, I'm really... hoping we can walk them and pet them and tell them that they're really good boys. What is the link between Minecraft Earth and what we're doing right well, here? Well, you, you, can, you can pick up mobs. Admittedly, not llamas, but we we from our previous Minecraft Earth thing, we got a special jolly llama. Right. So we got the jolly llama, and it kind of looks like an alpaca. And it kind of looks like an alpaca. <laughs> So, so that's bingo something. bango, <laughs> Minecraft Earth, let's go and see some alpacas. 
With our very tenuous link to Minecraft Earth fully justified, it was time to get up close and personal with some alpacas, something that I personally had never really done before. So I really didn't know what to expect, and the first thing that really caught my attention is just how friendly they are. Like sure, some of them were a little bit nervous, but for the most part, they were just like long-necked dogs. They seemed kind of curious with what we were doing, so that was definitely a big surprise for me. But the alpacas were about to get a bit of a big surprise, because for the first time in their lives, they were about to enter a Minecraft Earth virtual race around a race course. This is a ridiculous idea. <laughs> this is the most bizarre thing. <laughs> of all the things I expected to see. Right, so if you follow me, yeah. we, can then, we can then go on a bit of a course, okay? <laughs> Come on, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, occasionally they keep dipping in and out of being visible, but yeah. occasionally, okay. all right, it looks like you're really actually racing alpacas around a track. The Jolly Llama is off the edge of the build plate. You are next to the Jolly Llama right now. You're actually, oh gosh. Wait, stop there, stop there. That is actually quite hilarious. Walk on. He's, he so doesn't want to walk, doesn't he? <laughs> no, that's good. Oh, he took it out on the guy next to him. <laughs> Poor dude. I think I'll let you guys be the judge as to whether or not that was a success. On the one hand, we did get to have a bunch of fun with alpacas, which is definitely a positive, but on the other hand, it probably didn't work quite as well as we expected. Minecraft Earth isn't really designed to detect alpacas. Maybe if we had used llamas, it would have been a different story. So the next place we're going, yeah. we're going to be doing some archery. In oh, Minecraft Earth, you can actually get like bow and arrow right. on the adventures. Okay. Continue. Do some real life archery and then See if we can like how accurate you can be. I, I imagine it's easier in Minecraft Earth, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how accurate we can be. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I can already see the outcome of this one coming. Like yeah. this one seems pretty predictable. Yeah. But I'm all for it. That sounds like fun. I think both of us slightly overestimated how good we were going to be at archery. You see, when you watch films and you play Minecraft enough, it makes it look easy peasy. And you convince yourself that you're an archer. And then when it comes to real life, actually doing archery, it's a whole different ball game. Lots of different things need to come into balance to make the perfect shot. And let's just say, one of us managed to find that balance quite quickly. The other, me, sort of, well, didn't. My arrows were going all over the shop, left, right, above, below, and none of them hit their mark. It's alright Grian, I've got some good news for you. There is axe throwing right next to the archery course. Maybe we could try some axe throwing, maybe that is more up your street. You could be the axe thrower of the century. Oh, let's see. Uh, that's not a good start. It does... It seems to be getting worse, actually. Um, alright, okay, well let's just... Let's leave this place behind, okay? And, and maybe we'll get back to the Minecraft Earth stuff. Try and hit the target first. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty easy. That was pretty I think good. You've got to go distance, and you lose the arrow. I've confirmed that the arrow is now gone. <laughs> so the arrow disappears. So yeah, we've we've got twenty-one arrows, and that's it. You're gonna get the benefit. <laughs> oh no! Well, I might not get a chance to use it if you keep using it. Oh, the arrow. I think it's just okay. as simple as get it on the right, be able to hold <laughs> it still. All right, that was this pretty is, professional level. This is actually so much easier than uh, real life archery. One. I'm, I'm like John Wick. I'm like John Wick. No. I'm like John Wick. I'm like no. John Wick. <laughs> well, we've picked up a VIP, a very important passenger, a very important pooch. A very important pooch. <laughs> and now you're in just you're just in just eternal happiness. I can see it in your face. I'm so happy. This is the happiest. This is exactly how I pictured this. <laughs> So with three days of travelling, sleeping on various people's lawns, playing lots of Minecraft Earth and doing a lot of fun activities, our little road trip has now come to a close. The VW bus performed beautifully, considering it's nearly 50 years old, I'm incredibly impressed, everything came together smoothly and I really enjoyed this experience. So I look forward to making more content like this in the future, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.